Hi, everybody. How are you? How are you enjoying the show so far? Shout out to the man in the wing wing shirt. Keep it all, keep the dream alive. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage Shuhei Yoshida. <laughs> Grab a seat right there, Shu. Thank you for coming, Shuhei. Oh, yeah, you need a microphone, don't you? There you go. Yeah. Hello. There you go. Yeah, you know that I was one of the producers of the original Crash Bandicoot game. Oh, yeah. So I, I cannot be excited enough. I had a chance to play Crash 1, 2, and 3 yeah. on PS4 the yeah. other day. And uh, like they are saying, uh, they made Crash 1 a little bit easier because it's uh, too hard. Yeah. I, you know, I struggled as a producer, but uh, every level... Well, stop right okay. there. If you were struggling as a producer, yeah, I did was. you think about dialing down the difficulty? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we did. We did for the Japanese version. Okay. The US and European version came out in September, I remember. But we have three months. Uh, we released uh, the first Crash game in December in Japan. Yeah. So I, I worked with Mark Sani and Naughty Dog guys to make, make, make it a little bit you know, easier for the Japanese version. Well, we're happy to reunite you <laughs> and your former employee over there, Crash Bandicoot. Uh, let's start with the biggest PlayStation story of E3 2017. Which was? You're in everybody's golf. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> As if I couldn't love the hot shots slash everybody go golf more, you put Shuhei in there. I got to play as you today. It was fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. So I was uh, at the booth, and uh, I, I saw someone playing as me, and I was like uh, putting. <laughs> you know. So how, Shuhei, how is Shuhei doing? <laughs> 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 yeah, there it is. This is yeah. you right there. They're uh, oh, they're talking about it. Yeah. How did that happen? Did they just? Oh yeah. So the this character was made just using the same uh, edit, you know, character edit tools that they have in game. Yeah. So you can create anyone, and uh, as a developer made this tool, they wanted to demonstrate it, how versatile it is. So they created me and Sean Layden and Andrew House and all those bunch of people just using the same tool. Gotcha. And uh, uh, one of the PR person, you know, suggested, well, why don't we use just Shuhei character for the E3 demonstration? That might attract, you know, people's attention. Just a so. little bit, yeah. <laughs> Is it shipping with you? You're going to be in the game? Uh, I could be, yeah. You I, have I to saw be. an audio. Do you want him in the game, everybody's goal? <laughs> Uh, in the earlier version, I saw me as one of the galleries, you know, watching, uh, you know, people pray. <laughs> yeah, you got to do it. I think, I think for the people who love everybody's golf, if you're a Hot Shots fan like me, Thank you know you. Shuhei Yoshida, it makes perfect sense. Thank you. So, Shu, how, how, is, how has it been? How has E3 2017 been for you and PlayStation? Yeah, it's been very relaxing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no, nobody asking questions, nothing uh, no, happening. Yeah, yeah, perfect. yeah. Like, like you saw the show, right? Yeah, I did. Just Sean Layden came, came, came up, you know, spoke for um, one minute. Yeah. And all the presentation was like, uh, you know, video game, game, game. Yeah. Yeah, so there's no, like, a technical issue that we don't have to you know, worry, be worried about, yeah. and there's no, like, uh, switching people, and uh, so the, we, we didn't have rehearsal. Yeah, there's just one run through at, wow. at the, you know, night of the day before, night before the, you know, show. Sure. That was it. We didn't do any rehearsal in, on the same day, so. Because somebody said hit play, pretty much, <laughs> right, and walk off. Yeah. Much. However, however, if you are, um, yeah, you were in the auditorium, right? No, I was watching from home. Oh, okay. Twitch, so, so kind of funny did you notice there, there's a people coming down when there's a zombie? Oh, yeah. Uh, no, freakers yeah, in, yeah, yeah, for the, uh, days, days gone, yeah. And uh, they move. <laughs> they are people. Yeah, you, yeah, you hired real people yeah, to hang yeah, like zombies. Yeah, yeah. It's it interesting. Scary. So all those things, that water came down from the ceiling and yeah. became the display. Just so, so amazing to be inside you guys nail presentation last year Thank with the you. orchestra this year with again more live music the water was amazing yes so how did you feel about your games lineup um pretty good yeah <laughs> how did you feel about playstation's games lineup <laughs> thank you thank you yeah so um the if you had noticed we had to put many of our games coming out this year in the pre-show of uh, yeah. E3 Media Showcase, because we wanted to make the actual show within one hour. 
games like uh, you know Gran Turismo Sport, everybody's go, yep. Nak Two, and all the you know new Play Link. Yeah, I was gonna say the yeah. party game you were in. Yeah, 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 yeah. All those things we had to show it before the show started. So if you have not noticed, we had another show, one hour show, we uh, aired uh, live right before the uh, E3 press, you know, uh, uh, media showcase. And uh, it's, it's on our YouTube channel, so please watch. There are lots of new information about Everybody Golf and uh, Gran Turismo and the Play Link and all these games, so. Found an interesting <laughs> no pad upon in there. Where was the, where, you know, where's it's the? Coming. It, it better come quick, all right? Yeah, I, The local Roko's out, good for them. Now give yeah. the people what they want, and they want yeah. Patapon. It's now playable from beginning to the end, you know, awesome 4K graphics. Yeah. And uh, the team is making sure that, the, you know, so it's now on, in the final consultation stage with Japan Studio, because the original crea creators, uh, they are still there to make sure that, you know, game is preserved, the yeah. original feel and look. I'd be very offended, you know, if it wasn't preserved, if it came out and it wasn't what I want. <laughs> yeah, you would tell us. I would let you know. <laughs> Thank you. That and the, the, the golf game, you know that. You know, the, uh, these are like, you're talking about, I, yeah, this is my, you know, a decade in the industry. Yeah. We're literally reliving like the 2007, 2000 PSP era <laughs> that I like, that I love so much, 2007, 2008. So yeah. I'm, I'm stoked with what you're doing. But, but talking about everybody's golf, did you notice that this time around, we have put, the developer was able to put nine holes together yeah. in one Yeah, not break level. them up. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you can walk to or, you know, use a card to move to any hole. You don't have to follow the, you know, in sequence. Oh, I didn't see that. And, okay. and uh, you, you know, when you start a game, you are automatically matched up with other players, you know, playing at the same time. So you just see other people uh, wandering around while you are playing the golf. Or you can watch other people play, uh, you know, online. And uh, you, you can clap or you can do you know, <laughs> some you know, dancing. Or sure, yeah, of course. Other players. I expect you to be dancing for me when I'm, when uh, I'm playing golf. Yeah, yeah. So it, it's a very lively you know, golf game. It's like an open world. Oh, golf yeah. Game. I can't wait to do it. I can't wait to get hands on with it. Or get like, deep hands on with it. actually have it at home. Yep. Um, so I think the only criticism okay. I've seen of the PlayStation Conference, right, yep. was the fact that there was a lot of games from last year and a lot of them didn't have like solid release dates. Hmm. Uh, what is your what you know, a lot of them were the worldwide studios games that you're in yeah. charge of these people. Yeah, you're at the top of the pyramid. Actually, that was really intentional. Yeah. Um, like uh, Gran Turismo Sport coming fall 2017, God of War coming early 2018 because um, we had uh, announced uh, release dates of many games that we had to apologize and uh, push back in the sure. past. So we and got together um, and uh, discussed seriously because the PS4 games are so big and uh, all the teams, you know, very veteran teams making games for the last 20 years still miss calculate sure. how much work is done at the very last part of the development being, you know, polishing or debugging. Uh, so we agreed to not to announce a release date until very, 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 very close to the release date. So that puts a lot of challenge to our marketing and the sales team. Sure. But they understood and agreed and allowed us to just say the windows, like a season, like a fall or a spring or early, uh, until the, we are so close to like a beta finish. So that's the reason that uh, we didn't announce the actual date. Is that, does that make it a, a really tough decision on what to show when? Like, to, you know, to show something like Days Gone last year and show it again this year and not have a date or anything like that, and which is fine. <laughs> Eric Jensen working his, his butt off, I understand. But, I mean, is that, like, it feels like you guys have had to change strategy, I guess. Um, well, so we have, uh, you know, uh, portfolio of games, you know, we are in development, and uh, we share that with our marketing and the PR teams, and, uh, and uh, every game has a certain point in development that's optimal to show and uh, announce, and, uh, you know, because uh, we have many uh, events in the year, uh, so we Just have to few. kind of, yeah, yeah uh, strategize, like, uh, to place where to put, you know, what content, so. Of course. Yeah, so. Where are you strategizing to play Sucker Punch's game? Because I'm sick of not seeing it. I think it was two years ago on this stage, you told me you had played it, and I still don't see anything about it. I, I think I have played many, many more times. <laughs> <laughs> God. Oh, 
such game. <laughs> and every time I pray, I, 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 I shouldn't be talking more. <laughs> <laughs> OK, I can yeah, respect yeah. that. So it's, it's a game. It is a game. Yeah. Sucker Punch is making yeah, a yeah. game. They are okay. not making movies. Uh, you know. Thank you. Good. We yeah. start knocking it out. It's like, yeah. guess who now? We're just knocking yeah, it's it out. now very narrow. Exactly. Narrow. Exactly. We're right on top of that. Right on uh, top of that. Um, what? You, you, how many E3s have you been to, Shu? I, I remember I was there at the very first one when the uh, Steve Race came out and just said 299 and yeah. <laughs> as, uh, you know, to announce the price of uh, original PlayStation. That was a huge. So, so. I think that was the very first E3, so okay. I've been to E3 every year. Every year. Yeah. What do you think of this year being open to the public? That's uh, lots of energy. <laughs> like yeah. feel a little bit like uh, PSX, you are there. Sure. Yeah, so um, I, I, I think I like it in terms of the atmosphere and the energy, uh, but uh, it's going to be much more challenging for like, uh, media people to play games. And we have a uh, media room, so you know, hopefully they have uh, have enough time to get their hands on sure. the games, but uh, uh, I, I hope people are enjoying. Are you enjoying being in E3? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're doing all right. Don't worry about them. They're having a fine time. So for you right now, what's it like to have so many games coming that people are super excited for, but then still to be able to come out and announce something like Shadow of the Colossus? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How long had that been in development? How long had that um, been a thing? Well, there was no, I had no idea that was coming. Yeah, so this is a complete remake of the game. Every asset, everything is, you know, made new for. We're changing the control scheme. Um, we're doing some tweaks. Okay, okay, yeah, I getting, can live with that. I can getting, live with that. Yeah, because it's been a long time since a very original game, yeah. and uh, there are certain things that people like uh, expect in terms of like, like uh, interface. Yeah. So uh, we uh, develop a uh, um, blue point and uh, Japan studio uh, experimenting with something. Uh, I'm not allowed to <laughs> talk about details, of but the, uh, if you, as you know, blue point made the PS3 uh, HD uh, version of uh, uh, Shadow of the Crosses and Eco. So they know the game inside out. Yeah. And there are people in Japan studio who worked on original as well. So they are really making the game, preserving the original game, the feel and the gameplay. However, to really recreating the game with the contemporary current gen PS4 uh, graphics and the engines. So for people who have no idea about this game, our goal is to uh, make this game look like any other new PS4, sure. you know, brand new yeah, PS4 yeah. title. That's why we didn't put remake or anything in the title. We just call it Shadow of the Colossus. Uh, I feel it, I would be so, so Sorry, sorry, to answer your question. So no, they've, been spending, take over, it's you. they've been spending quite a long time, yeah. as you could tell, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> making this game. Yeah. yeah. And that was so it was going on in parallel with The Last Guardian development, you know. Yeah, so yeah, they've definitely been working on it for quite a while. Uh, I feel this is a golden opportunity to catch up with you. We, yes. we get to talk quite a bit, but not as often as I'd like. Anytime you want to leave Sony behind, come work for Kind of Funny, let me know. Oh, yeah, so I can take the Collins. Uh, we'll yeah, bring back oh, PS yeah. I Love You XOXO if you want to co host it. Uh, uh, we can get uh, Andrew Gorfa back and yeah, oh, Ryan yeah. Crimmins back. Sure, we have yeah. infinite money. The Patreons are doing really well. <laughs> Not as well as you think. No, no. My question for you would be, talk to me a little bit about PlayStation VR. Yeah. I was so thrilled to see PlayStation VR up during the conference. You yeah. guys had the, the five games that I predicted. Good, good job. And uh, thank you for doing the live stream of Moss. I watched it. Oh, yeah? You played through. And do, watching the game being played by a person yeah. and the see the actual game uh, screen and the person playing, sure. that really is a good way to communicate what really is the experience of playing the game. You know, I mean, like, our audience loves PlayStation VR, and they want to see more and more stuff about it, so we're happy to get out there. But, like, for you, we talked so much leading up to it. How have you felt post-launch for about PlayStation VR? Yeah, so the, um, well, from in terms of uh, number of units, you know, we couldn't keep up with, you know, producing enough. Yeah. So, you know, because going in, because it was the very first year the consumer level high quality VR has been possible, 
uh, it was very difficult to read the actual demand. You know, the $399 is not cheap at all. So sure. it's an expensive system because we want to make sure the experience is amazing when we come out because VR takes people's senses away yeah. and uh, put p them into different world. So we really, really, really needed to put the very high quality advanced tech component that which we did. Yeah. Uh, so there are challenges in terms of uh, producing enough heat to catch up the de demand. But now you go to the stores, you should be able to find uh, the, so, so we've been holding back, our marketing and sales teams has been holding back promoting the system because we didn't have you know, enough units. But going forward, because we have enough units, we are you know, uh, uh, moving into the details, uh, uh, we will restart really promoting the system and games coming out. That's all I want to hear, and that's why E3 was such a positive move for it, because it was the fear, right, of it got launched and then it got quiet. And it was, is it doing well? Is Sony going to still support it? Are they going to make games for it? You guys still are. There's yeah, yeah. That, the reason, as I said, was because yeah. of the, you know, retail inventory situation. Well, great. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Shuhei Yoshida. <laughs> Thank you, Shu. Thank you, Robbie. Hey, get up, get up here. Ah, oh, yeah. Thank you for coming by. All right, now get off the stage.